Hey YouTube, it's GV Loan Guy. It's September 15th, 2011. And I just wanted to make a video today about the uh, solar flares that we've been uh, having and the earthquakes today. It was particularly active in the earthquakes. Now here's the uh, SOHO uh, website, NASA website, for looking at the solar blast. Here's the date. Oh, look at that. See that? On the 13th, that thing that just blasted there on the 13th. That one there is going to hit us probably, uh, well, let's go look. This is it right here. Uh, this shows it here. If you look at this date up in here, the earliest date you're going to see is the, the 13th. That was the 13th right there. Watch that again right there. Okay, that's where it starts. Here's where the Earth is right here, this yellow dot right here. And that thing you're looking at coming out there, that's the blast of radiation. So there, boom, you can see the edge. It just it goes kind of this direction up here, and we catch the edge of it there. See that? Now here's what it looks like on Soho again. Let me get it over at the start. Okay, there's the beginning. Here's the 13th. Here we go. And watch this one. We're out this way right here. We're over this direction right here. Boom. See? We just get the side. Now look. What would that be like if we were located here? Or rather, if that blast came directly at us right out here. That blast come right at... Oh, did you see that? Hold on here. Let's back that up. That was worthwhile looking at. We got a, uh, a solar diving comet here in the picture. Let's see here. There it is. Oh, there it's coming back. There it is. I'm backing it up here. See it right there? Watch this thing. Back it up again. Now let's watch that in live motion. Here it comes. You ready? Keep an eye on it. It's going to shoot right into the sun. Here we go. Uh, there. Look at that. Ooh, boom. And then, ooh, something shot out the other side. I don't know about that. But anyway, here we go on the 14th. Boom. That's today. Oh, see, that's another one. And we're out here. Now we're going to get hit by that. We're going to see that tomorrow. We'll come back over here and look at this tomorrow. And you'll see what that looks. But this is the blast from the 13th. And here it is here, it's going to hit us on, boom, well let's look at the date, see it's kind of hard to time it, about the 17th, looks like it might be on the 16th, 17th, right there, it's hard to see it, but it looks like it's about the 16th, 17th, we'll be hit with that radiation right there, just the edge of it, so again, my big concern is if the, if the sun spot and the flares right down this direction hits us straight on, ouch, that's going to cause some damage, alright, so let's look at the earthquakes, today, Oh, uh, let's see, where are we here? All right, today, this is the current. Oh, look at that. There's one that just happened 19 minutes ago. Uh, not too big. Magnitude 3 in Utah, of all places. So we're starting to get some activity out here around the area of Yellowstone. And interestingly enough, some stuff back here around the New Madrid Fault also. But plenty of action out here uh, two hours ago. Up here in Northern California, my neighborhood, 4.3. I don't know where that is. I didn't quite feel it. Uh, here's one here. This one goes back to 11 in the morning UTC. I'm not really sure on the timing difference there, but I can find out real quick. That one is uh, magnitude 4 also. A lot of little 4s in the Canada and stuff. But look at this. Look at these guys. Let's see. This one here. What is this? This is 7.2. That just happened, 7.2, 7.3, that happened uh, two hours ago, so that's 19, it looks like it's 1700 uh, UTC, and uh, I'm going to do a quick conversion to find out when that is in our time. Anyway, there's a lot of activity you can see right around here, some big stuff, big action. What's this over here in Cuba, 5.1, Cuba, see, there's these are things you don't hear every day. I don't hear about Cuba getting an earthquake. Indonesia has got a 5.3. These are uh, 4.9. Some good size ones. Here's another 6.2 right here. Um, today, over near uh, Honshu, Japan. Again, same area. What's this? Uh, 6.1. Aleutian Islands, Alaska. See, there's a lot of action here. This is all within the last 24 hours here on this map. 
uh, and then some smaller ones. But there's a lot of action here around the Ring of Fire. Let me show you something. Today's the 15th of September. We're halfway through the month. I thought I would take a look back at the beginning of the month, September 1st, down here at the bottom going on up through the 15th and just counting the number of earthquakes that are 6.0 or greater. I'd like to count the 5.9s because they're so close to 6, but I'm just going to draw the line at 6.0 and count 6.0 or greater since the 1st of September. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. Here we go. Count with me. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 earthquakes in the first 15 days of September 2011, one a day on average, 6.0 or greater. Do you guys realize how much activity this is and how unusual this is compared to normal? This is extremely increased earthquake activity, in case you guys haven't noticed. I'm sure you have. Here's the USGS uh, website showing the last seven days. Now here's the last seven days. I'm going to start down here on September 9th. You see that? 6.4 Vancouver Island. Two days later, on September 11th, Vanuatu. 6.0. All right, one more day here. Actually, that was uh, September. Uh, yeah, September 11th. Here's September 12th. 6.2 near the north coast of New Guinea. And then uh, up here, look at 5.9. We're not counting that, but look at that. It's. I mean, I want to count it here. 5.9 offshore Chile. All these places we've heard about. Chile, Japan's major earthquakes on the last alignment dates of Elenin and all these places. Here's some new stuff. Look at this. This is today, September 15th. We had three, uh, and there's actually another one on here somewhere. It just dropped off. It's like a little bit over. But look at this. New Zealand, 6.0. Japan, 6.2. Fiji, 7.3. And I think there's another one in the New Zealand area today. I counted four earlier. Anyway, I just wanted to point it out. Thanks for watching, guys.